I spend a lot of time in these videos talking about true formulas because those are the ones that tend to give people trouble. I thought it would be nice to just take a moment to talk false formulas anyway. Um, for false formulas, you plug in numbers. You have to plug in numbers for false formulas. For true formulas, you should basically think of it as never plugging in numbers. Right? So <clears throat> the only time you plug in numbers in true formulas is this one place where the argument is weird, and it's for exponential formulas you plug in for the exponents only. So anyway, the, the best way to think of it is false formulas definitely plug in numbers. True formulas, with some exception, do not plug in numbers. It turns out these formulas right here, a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m times n, is a false formula. And this formula, a to the m plus a to the m equals a to the m plus n, these are both false formulas. Because they're false, uh, the technique is you've got to, first of all, you have to recognize the true ones from the false ones. So they're both false. I'll write that in. Um, and because they're false, you, you really have to plug in numbers. That is the expectation. So let's go ahead and start with this formula. Uh, choose a number. Basically, you can't go wrong with just about anything. Of course, there are exceptions. Um, but uh, you don't want to choose A as 1. Then you actually get the left side equal to the right side. But if you chose A as 2, and maybe M is M and N should be small numbers here. Otherwise, you've got a lot of repeated multiplication to take care of. How about I just choose O? I don't know, two and three. That won't make the numbers really too big. So the left side of this formula is a to the m times a to the m. Let me plug in. Again, I've got to plug in the, um, the numbers that I have here. So a to the m, two to the two times a to the m, two to the three. Now the thing to do when simplifying this expression is not to use the formula in question. The formula in question is talking about taking something like this and rewriting it like that. Do not use this formula. Otherwise, you'll get the same number and somehow try to convince yourself what you have is true. Never use the formula in question. Instead, simplify what you have using the order of operations. So, exponentiation comes first. I do the 2 to the 2, which is 4 times, and then 2 to the 3rd is multiply that as, all, as long as I'm here. Then 4 times 8 is all that's left is 32. Again, I simplified using the order of operations. Do not mimic a step that looks like this formula up here. We're trying to argue whether this formula is true or false. And you don't want to use the formula itself in your argument. That would be circular. On the right side, we have um, in the formula up here, the a to the n times n. So if I plug in my a to the n choices, that use the same numbers to argue here. And I have a, which is 2 to the n times n, uh, 2 times 3. I've got to simplify according to the order of operations. Again, don't try to use the formula that's up here. That's the one we're questioning whether it's true or false anyway. <clears throat> and I have here um, exponentiation happens first. So I'll deal with this two, uh, 2 times 3 as an exponent simplified as a 6. Oh, 2 times 6, that's going to be a little bit of work, but 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Remember, exponentiation is just repeated multiplication. So I got uh, 4 times 2 more is 8, times 2 more is 16, times 2 more is 32, and times 2 more is 4. And the point is that these two numbers are in fact different. For the other formula here, um, I'm going to uh, take a look at maybe a, a 2. Uh, maybe I'll just choose m is equal to 1. Why not? And then how about n is equal to, I don't know, how about 3? Um, again, it doesn't matter really what numbers you choose. It should work out just about whatever numbers you choose. The left side does say a to the m is a to the n. In this example, first, two to the third. So simplify not using this formula, but just stare at this and use the order of operations. Again, if I wrote, this is incorrect. If I wrote 2 to the 1 plus 3, I'm actually using this process. Of, we are questioning whether that formula is reliable or not, so we shouldn't use it. So if I simplify only using the order of operations, I should do my exponent work for a plus sign state. 2 to the first is 2, 2 to the third is 8, 8 is 10. On the right side, I have a to the m plus n. So that's 2 to the 1 plus 3. And so that's 2 to the fourth. Again, simplifying the exponent because that comes first. And then 2 to the fourth is equal to 8. These numbers are not equal. They're different. So both of these formulas are, in fact, also awesome.